Inside the concrete plant park in the Longwood section of the South Bronx, there's plenty to discover. The Bronx River Alliance, an organization which serves as a coordinated voice to protect and restore the Bronx River Carter, held an opening reception for Art in Concrete Plant Park. The Alliance works in a closed partnership with the New York City Department of Parks and Recreation. Very excited uh, to be able to have this art project here today. Uh, we thank all the many partners that we have and Arts in the Parks, so we want people to be able to continue to enjoy it and come and enjoy the art here. The Bronx River Alliance commissioned artists to create work based on the history and design of Concrete Plant Park that encourage healthy habits and activities with exploring nature. I wanted to create a, the, my project as a wayfinding project in terms of like I wanted people to notice the entrance, and be able to come through the park and, and, and see different things. So the idea was to have a series of flags uh, throughout the park. And what I created was 15 flags that are uh, stenciled uh, with different uh, figures. The figures are a combination of nature, because it's a park, so I wanted to do nature, but also about the community activities. Sean Garcia, executive director of Revolutionary Fitness, a health and fitness education organization which focuses on servicing underdeveloped communities is helping out with refreshing the new concrete plant park by adding initiatives like yoga and gardening. So we're out here, you know, trying to invite the community, get the community out to enjoy this, this space. You know, right here next to the Bronx River, see the gorgeous water, there's been some heavy rain, so this, the, the water is really high in here and it's really beautiful out today. But I've been part of the, the new foodway efforts that's been going on in the park. Uh, so a few years back, there was some uh, support from New York City, uh, the Parks Department, the Bronx River Alliance uh, to really get the space revitalized, reclaim the space. And so I've been uh, involved in that part and helping bringing programming into the space. The park was also enhanced through the creation of a waterfront promenade, a reading circle, and inviting park entrances at both Westchester Avenue and Bruckner Boulevard. Reporting for BronxNet, Ashley Tiffany.